welcome aisha ji welcome to times tv this is sukarna how are you dear i'm good how are you great great very blessed yeah to aap bata sakte ho kya hua hai aapke sath aapne fir file kiya hai against actor sizan khan right so my yeah. name is aisha pirani he cheated me 420 um this man only wanted a green card so he used me to obtain the green card and i have spent uh, like all of my money on him for obtaining the green card and i have bills for everything he's he's live live off of me for um, from 2013 to 2016 he live off me you know i was working and he's sitting at home so he spent my credit card and i have like all the bills and the credit card has his name on it everything like i have proof of everything and uh, i ignored it because i'm not a bad woman so i let it go he used me okay you know he never even said any apology but i could not take it anymore when it comes to a female character so for modesty of a woman i could not take that insult so when he uh, published on times of india that i am his obsessive fan that's when i say you know what i cannot take this anymore cuz this is a like defaming me and uh, telling that i morphed the certificates and all so that's when i did decided to do the fir i would have left him let it go if he would not say wrong things about me which is not true so and also while he was here you know he made me a fool in front of my kids and that's disturbed my kids mentally and they were hurted they are still hurted they'll never forgive him they 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 really don't have any good wish in their heart for this guy this is an insult for the modesty of a woman also you know and uh, um he uh, fraudly you know like made me sign the divorce paper saying that uh, because i am in nikah with him too i'm still in nikah with him so mm. he said his mother would want to have a younger um female for him to marry like he's 50 so am i we both born in 1973 so is he so his mom wanted him to marry some 25 year girl you know so that's why he was hiding the marriage from the mother so he said uh, can you please sign the divorce paper i'm still in nikah with you and for me as a muslim lady i believe in nikah nama more as a instead of the you know uh, court wala so i said okay so he probably made me sign the divorce paper which i did for me being nice and i trusted him but still um you know like uh, as a muslim law he's not given me talaq i have not signed any of the paper for that so now all i want from him is i want the um you know like the recovery of my money that i spent on him and i want the compensation go through the torture with my children and insulting me and calling me an obsessive fan and i have proof of everything like what he said and what he did and um, and also i want to get married so legally i want a khula nama as a pers- as a you know like a muslim law and i believe in my muslim religion so i would like to have a khula nama from him so i can get married and the third one these three things i want from him first is the recovery of my money i spent on him compensation of my kids and my torture and he made my life miserable and i cannot let him go scot free after using me for obtaining the green card he has odyssey to you know say in front of the media that i'm his obsessive fan now that's a little bit too much and I- um, and if you know if i if this is not going to work then i'm going to go for it if police if by the police it will not then i'll go to the court next time you know i want an apology letter I have given him everything green card and still he did like this to me and I would do a criminal defamation case on him. And so uh, that's all but, from my side you know. Uh when did you file this FIR? Uh just uh, let's uh, you know I have to go back um hold on on the when did i come back um i think i did it on the 7th yeah 7th 7th so, 7th of this month 7 june so you came to india to file the fir correct correct because 
I live in USA. So mm -hmm. the law is like wherever the person is, you have to go there. And mm -hmm. he's in India. So that's why I had to come there and do it over there. If I do it here, he's not here. So they cannot do anything. They cannot help me. Though I do have uh, his police complaint in the police office because um, he was sending me texts and with his uh, new girlfriend or wife, I don't know. And he's married, I think, again to this girl of Sheen. They've tortured me. They've sent me some dirty voice notes. I have all of that. So I took it to the police station and he's already reported in the police station here. I have already complained over here, but he's not here. So I had to come there and do this because he's living there. Uh, so I can see he, he had said uh, back then that you are just a relative uh, exactly this, and uh, yeah. he has never said being married to you yeah he's lying and there is all the proof i have i have the uh, i can even i have lots of witnesses i have the judge who did our marriage in the court his uh, text is there too and he said he will um, he will send a voice note if needed that he's the one who did the marriage and even about the marriage certificate and pictures which you yeah. had sent back then, he had said that uh, he, she is very good at morphing pictures. Yeah, no, he does that because he is good in morphing. Why? Because he has two birth certificates. He morphed his uh, school leaving certificate. He changed the dates on them. I have proofs of that too. I have everything. My lawyer has everything. Yasmin has all the paper of him morphing. He has two birth certificates he's holding. Who is doing fraud? Me or him? He's morphing the certificates. Jo khud galat karta hai na, wo dusron ko bhi usi nigaah se dekhta hai. Mujhe kuch galat karne ki zarurat nahi hai. I'm not lying. I have proof of everything I said. So now, uh, this time that you visited India, did you get to have any word out of him or like reach out to him uh, for no, like before filing the file? No, no. When I came last year. I tried to talk to him and uh, I also went in his um, Yari Road where he lives with one of my niece and he saw me and ran away and and then I couldn't run after his house but uh, I did try to speak to him that I need to speak to you but uh, he would not and yeah yeah he would yeah. not speak and uh, also you know as a Muslim I'm still in nikah with him he's not giving me talaq and I have to move on in my life and he's already married again i'm i'm hearing the story i don't know how true is it but don what i hear her name is afshin and she's with him for at least four four years now four five did years have, she's living with him. huh did you have any interaction with her with uh, no i saw her i i saw both of them together i when i went to see him in his uh, building i yeah. saw both of them together and then they both ran and I was telling Sajana, I speak to you, he, they both ran together. So I had no interaction with her, no. And, but I uh, saw. And how much have you been asking in compensation? Eight lakhs for money I spend on him. That's not even what I spend on him. Because every day he's been living in my house from 2013 till 2016. You probably have an idea, you know, when you live in somebody's house, you have to pay rent and everything. And I was being nice. I didn't know that he's fooling me for the green card. So, and I, as a Muslim, I have a pure heart and I, he's my husband. So I was doing it. But then I find out that he fooled me for the green card. That's when it got me and then insult and humiliation and then defaming. I mean, that's a lot. And I'm a single parent. So my kids have seen it and they literally hate him. They hate him, my kids. They, my little one was only eight years old then. And my older one was 16 years old then. And they have seen what all he's done with me. Even they will say, if you need for them to speak, they'll say what he did with my mother. And they, even they know that he used me for money. Anytime... He's using my card and uh, I actually made a card for him, you know, add on to my American Express or to my bank account. I have all the bank statements, mine and his name, my bills, you know, mine and his name. Because 
I thought he's genuinely, uh, you know, like loving and caring. And he said he loves me. But that was all lies. But I have all the proof of the bank statement, his name, my credit cards, his name with the bills. How can you deny all that? So, and my lawyer has everything if you need it. She has it. So how was life back then when he was living with you? And uh, how did this fallout happen? Like when did he, what, what made yeah, him move he, out? He, what made him move out? Because yeah. his plan was over. You know, you get the green card in two and a half years. So he had planned everything. So exactly after two and a half years, that's what, what he did, what he did. He had planned this. And he has another one of his friend. Actually, he lives in California. Pradeep. Uh, Pradeep. I don't know the last name, but he was doing the same thing. So they both were. I didn't know that uh, they are both planning. He did the same thing. So did Sazendra. They planned it. I find so, out when I went to Bombay, actually, in 2017. He refused uh, me to take to his house. When I went 2016 to his house, yes, I was with a, in his house for a month. I had a vacation, so I was there. But when I went in 2017, he refused to take me to his mom's ha- his house. He said, my mom uh, kind of find out about we are married and she will not accept you and sh- she will not allow you to be in the house. So he came to pick me up from the airport and he dropped me to my cousin's house. And that's what he told me. And uh, that's when I figured out then I had to go to a doctor and I was asking him, uh, would you come along? He said, no, I will not. My pups are alone. Like he was all caring for his dogs. I mean, uh, you stayed with me. You living in my house. I'm doing everything for you. And I'm your wife. I'm not just somebody that you ignore. So that's when I was getting little picture that, oh, he's because the time is over now, The because we got married in 2015. So that's when I say he's ignoring me, he's not taking me to his house. So he, he was, and I got uh, to hear from his friends only that he's fooling you for the green card. And then my friends, co-workers here, they all saw that in him, that Aisha, he's playing with your feelings. He's not genuine. And my, my whole work staff, they are ready to witness everything he did with me. Because they all know they used to come here while he was here. We did birthday party for him here. So I have a lot of witness if needed. So you also spoke about domestic violence. Uh, I did. Did he, he raise his hand on Yes, yes. And my kids are my witness. He, he used to lock me out from my room, my bedroom, and used to flirt with other girls on uh, Skype, other females, you know. He is a Casanova, I believe, because the way he was doing, locking me out from my bedroom. You are in my house. And then um, he used to tell me, oh, I have just married to you. I have not given you my life. This is what his dialogue used to be. And always very abusive. If there is... No, if, uh, if I forgot to bring, a, let's say, a fruit, banana, he likes to eat fruits in the night. So he, I, I, I'm ashamed to use those words, dirty language he used to use for me. I can't even say it. You know, like very dirty, like, you know, like uh, local people who are uneducated, he talk like that. Very dirty words, which I, I do not want to use it. And I took all that. But this one, what he said that I'm his obsessive friend and I'm, you don't know me and I'm morphing, I'm not going to take it because this is, you know, like he's defaming my character, modesty of a woman. I will not take it. Now he has to repay everything and no apologetic. So, uh, has a, after filing the FIR, has a lawyer intimated him? Like, do you get no. to hear so anything from him? FIR, I think police has to call him, not the lawyer. Lawyer did her part, you know. So she is available whenever you have any questions for her or police. They will contact her. 
but after fir the the police uh, said the sandeep koile he is the one who did my took my fir so hmm. he said he will be contacting him okay did you get to hear from them um no because he has blocked me so i don't know no from the uh, from the police station no why will i hear from police no no yeah no because he's going to call my lawyer cuz i'm not there okay. okay i don't have an india number here i'm in us okay so i'll i'll get that info from her okay uh well uh thank you aisha ji for connecting with us no oh, thank you i i would appreciate if you will really do something yes as a uh-huh. woman you 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 should understand where i'm coming from yes i do